Welcome to the tutorial video in Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting and putting variables in Harlow 3. When working with variables, there are two common operations, creating or updating. In Harlow, this is done using one of two different macros, either set or put. When the set macro is used, Harlow and Twine first test to see if the variable already exists. If it does, its value is updated. If it doesn't, it is created. And we see the first test of that right here. The value just set is 11. The macro put is a variant of set. Instead of setting a variable to a value, it is written in reverse. That is, a value is put into a variable. And we see the example right here. The value just put is 11. So let's review both of these. Both set and put work on variables. If the variable does not exist, it is created. When we're using set, a variable is set to a value. If we're using put, a value is put into a variable. Let's look at the code. Pulling up this passage here, we see what I just talked about. If we're using the set macro, we're setting a variable to a value. Notice right here we're using a story variable, and we know it's a story because it starts with a dollar sign, to a value. Set a variable to a value. This is the set macro. And because this variable does not already exist, it is created for us. And once it is created, we can then immediately use it in the passage. The value just set is example variable, and we saw that when we ran it. For putting it reads the same way as I explained it. We can use the put macro similar to the way we use the set macro, except in this case, we're putting a value into a variable. So we see right here, put 11 into this variable right here, which is a story variable, and we know it's a story variable because it starts with a dollar sign. So as I've reviewed in this video, if we want to change variables or even create them, we do so through using either the set macro or the put macro. And both just depend on how we want to write things. We can set a, value, a variable to a value or put a value into a variable, both of which do the same thing. That is, if a variable does not exist, it is created, or if it exists, it is updated. So the operations are the same, and the choice is left up to the author. You can use set or you can use put. The choice is up to you. Thanks for watching.